Uh, I'm just getting breakfast in the same kiosk. It's so busy, so busy. And of course, uh, I have limited choice here because I have to have chicken. So I'm getting a chicken burger uh, from them, but um, just have a look at how busy this place is. So I'm just getting breakfast in this place. Uh, I'm having the chicken burger just waiting forever. It's such a popular little place. Yes, please, both. Take away? Uh, take away, please, yeah. so that's my breakfast and brunch perhaps and then uh, I'm gonna get try and get on the bus to Skopje so that's the plan I haven't booked a ticket or anything just yet uh, simply because I think well uh, they say it's better to book in the bus station here because online is not very reliable I think that's what I've been told so uh, Yes. yes, yes. Yeah, so thank you so much. We've almost thank reached you. the bus Bye. station. And uh, it was Bye. lovely. This is the beauty of our travel. Thank you yeah, so thank much. Thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Here is Andrew. This yeah. is Andrew. Okay. Yeah. Here. Oh, okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. So, uh, and of course, there's not that many Indian travelers uh, coming to Macedonia. So that's what the lady was saying as well that it's rare to see. Indian and in fact she said it's the first time she's ever spoken to an Indian person so yeah it was a really good start to the day so I'm in the bus station now uh, so let's see what happens uh, for the bus ticket thank you huh? letter number eight okay thank you Getting to Orhid is super, super, super easy because uh, I'm here. It's night. It's uh, just close to half past nine. There's a bus at ten. It costs about fifteen euros or eight ninety uh, dinar, and that's it. So I think this is what the platforms are. Let me see. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm quite surprised such a big hostel uh, for seven euros so this is that I have and uh, it has such a big living room it's unbelievable and it's really close to the bus station so that's what I like so you know at least I have somewhere to put my bag down and explore the place so <laughs> I'm really really amazed at the size of this so Guys, let me just get settled in and start walking. It's so sunny outside. 
uh, that actually even my jacket feels too warm so that's why I just decided to get in here first and then sort of explore further India. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just going to sweat up, uh, sweat up Petka is the monastery. I think it's the same Petka they call it. Sweat right. up Petka right. here. Uh, the gentleman is going to take me there for 300 dinar, and uh, hopefully it'll all work out and I'll be able to stay there. Let's see, let's see. But I think today is mainly to explore, and once that's done. I should go near the lake. I mean, or hit this one about the lake, right? So, is the lake really beautiful? Really beautiful? I'm sorry? Is the lake really beautiful? Yeah. It's good lake? Yeah. It's really beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So. We're so going to Sweda yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes, yes. the entrance to the monastery and it's so beautiful it's so beautiful wow it's a world of its own this waterfall it's it's in the mountains you had to pass through a village and uh, really really spectacular spectacular scenes around here in general most uh, monasteries will be up in the mountains um, to create that sort of vibe I've been told to check and see if they will uh, what the situation is if we want to come and stay here so on and so forth the taxi driver uh, he said 300 I don't know if he meant 300 to return or one way anyway I asked him to wait so he could bring me back because honestly uh, there's no way to go back from here by yourself so yeah anyway It says no cats, no dogs, etc. But I can hear a cat nice and loud. So I'm actually quite terrified. And there's no way I could stay here if there was a cat. So anyway, let's see. Let me ring the door. I don't think the doorbell's working. I saw one person come and just go inside, but he didn't quite acknowledge me. So I don't really know. It looks like this. Hello, I can come inside. There's a um, cat, meow meow. Cat. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> chapel within the monastery was very calm, very quiet, very cozy. And there was something, and even the music that was being played in the background was extremely soothing, extremely soulful. Really great place to just sit down and meditate and get some me time. Monasteries generally are set high up in the mountains as mentioned and the views from there are really really spectacular. Uh, stay so I've got two candles uh, cost 10 dinar and then they were so kind they actually gave me uh, a picture of oh, where is St. Peter they gave me a picture of St. Peter as well so I got given this as a as a as a blessing really isn't it so
guys, I'm just in this little place in this place of Cambridge. I think it's like a shopping complex. And uh, anyway, I tried to eat something by the hostel I'm staying at, but there was all just beef. They didn't have any chicken or anything. So I came back here. Actually, it's not that far away. And uh, just basic chicken and rice. After that simple dinner, uh, it was time for me to just, you know, go home uh, to the hostel, I mean, and then just chill out for the day, get some editing done. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.